My niece Abby just turned one year old and for her birthday, I built her this elephant shaped piggy bank and I'm gonna show you how I did it. When Abby was born, I made this elephant design and my mom, Abby's grandmother, made a blanket from it. So I used the same design to make this bank. I used spray adhesive to attach the design to a nice chunk of walnut. It's about two inches thick. I used my bandsaw to cut out the design. I cut the ears out as one piece and cut the body out. It would have been possible to cut this out with a coping saw, but it would have taken a lot longer. I used a nail to mark the center of the eye. Then I removed the template and flipped it around to the other side to mark the other eye. Then I removed the rest of the template. I used a half inch Forstner bit to drill out the eyes to a depth of about a half an inch. I cut two pieces of half inch hardwood dowel to about an inch each for the eyes. Then I glued those pieces into the eye holes. I tried to line up the grain horizontally so it would look kind of like eyelids. I'm not sure if anyone would even notice though. I mixed some sawdust with the glue to fill in gaps around the dowel. When the glue was dry, I cut the eyes flush with the body. Then I cut the body in half on the bandsaw. And cut two ear slices, each a half inch thick. I put the two body pieces together in a vise and added a couple of clamps and drilled a one inch hole in the bottom with a forcener bit. I went about an inch deep. I used my largest forcener bit, which is one and three quarters of an inch, to drill out the body cavity where the coins will be held. At first I tried hand holding the body while I drilled, but that proved to be a bad idea. I ended up clamping the pieces down and drilling it much better. I didn't drill all the way through, I left about a quarter inch of wood. I drilled both sides in the same way. Then I used a chisel to round out the body cavity. And finished it off with a sanding disc on my rotary tool. I glued the two halves back together and let the glue dry. I drilled a series of small holes to make the coin slot on top. And used a file to clean up the slot. Then I sanded the body and two ears down to 220 grit. I did some hand sanding as shown, but a lot of the sanding is done with a power hand sander. It ended up being quite a bit of sanding though. Then I glued the two ears onto the body and let them dry. I finished the bank with tongue oil finish, which is a finish I like. I applied three coats, sanding with quadruple ot steel wool between each coat. When the finish was dry, I got a rubber stopper with a top diameter of 1 and 1 16th inch and plugged the hole in the bottom. Then I added a 2015 quarter to mark the occasion and gave it to Abby. Well there you go. I think the elephant bank turned out well. Abby seems to like it. Her parents like it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I also encourage you to subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos and follow me on Twitter at Makeify1. Thanks for watching. Abby, Abby. Dog, I think you messed up that take. You are the loudest walker. Good job. I also encourage you to subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos or...
That'll work.